a warm welcome to you all but today the story we are going to read is the magic words author of the story is gopika kumaran there are many illustrators they are henu nilofar wadia priyankar gupta reshma bharve and rupa prakash and this book is published by story weaver community in this story we are going to read about a king who was not so polite or was so harsh towards his people once upon a time there was a city with thousands of subjects subjects meaning people who live under a rule of a king is called subject so there were many people living in that city where that king was ruling the city had a very rude king nobody listened to him there was a king who was ruling that city and that king was so rude rude meaning harsh or not being polite towards others is called rude so he used to be so harsh towards others and as a result nobody listened to him at all he would scream at his wife what a terrible queen walk faster he did not spare even his wife he also screams at her scream meaning shouting loudly is called screaming he shouts at his wife also he orders her and he is so harsh towards her and he says walk faster why are you so slow he would tell his ministers to give the taxes fast even towards his minister he was not polite he was not soft at all he was ordering the ministers to pay the taxes very fast nobody did what he asked them to do he was angry all the time since he was so rude towards others nobody did the work what the king wanted them to do nobody listened isn't it so nobody did the work properly one day a magician came from far away he said i can help you by giving you a magic spell the king was curious a spell tell me now the magician gave him two pieces of paper and rode away on his horse the life went on like this and one day the king met a magician who had come from a far away place so the king explained his problem to the magician and he said oh don't worry i will give you some magic spell what is a magic spell means some magic words he said i will give you some solution by giving some magic spell the king was so surprised hearing what the magician said so he was so eager oh please give it to me immediately i need them so he asked and the magician gave two pieces of paper and he went back on his horse the king looked at the spells and was very excited he wanted to immediately try it out and see if it worked 
So looking at the words, the king was so happy and he was so excited also. So he thought, oh, I must try this one immediately and check whether the spell works or not. That night, he had a fever. He decided to try the spell. He used it to ask the servant for water. The servant smiled and immediately got it for him. The spells worked. The king immediately started to try that one that night itself. He had fever that night and he thought, oh, this is the good time that I should try this spell. So he asked his servant to bring some water. The servant was smiling and he brought the water immediately. So the king was happy. Wow! The spell worked! Ooh. The king tried it a few more times with other people. He asked them to get the army ready. He collected all the taxes. He got the streets cleaned. So now he thought, Oh, once it has worked, I can understand. Let me try it out two or three more times, a few times at least. So he thought, I will try with some other people. So he first he called the army soldiers and asked them to make the army ready. It was done. The army was ready. Second, he tried with the tax collectors. Tax was also collected. Third, he asked the street cleaners to clean the street. Oh, wow, that also worked. And the streets were spick and span. It was so clean and beautiful to see the streets. Everyone listened to him. The king continued to use the magic. And people always did the work for him. Now, everyone, all of them listened to the king because of the two magic words. So, he continued the same magic trick applying towards everybody who worked for him. And Every time the magic also worked. Eventually, people started talking about the king's changed behavior. They wondered what made him change so much. The change in the behavior of the king was the talk of the town. Everybody was surprised. Oh, what happened? What is the magic behind this? What made the king change like this? The queen was also very happy but curious. She asked the king, what is your secret? How did people listen to you now? The queen was also surprised and happy but she was so eager to know the reason, the reason behind the king's change. So she directly came and asked the king, oh, what happened? What is the secret behind this change? How do you make the people listen to you now? The king said with a smile, the magician gave me two magical spells. One, Always say please before you ask for something. Second, and say thank you after it is done. So now the magic is out. So he revealed the secret. He said, oh, 
I met the magician. He gave me two magical words by which I'm able to be a successful and a kind king. What were those two words? One was please and the other one was thank you. So he explained, he said, every time when you ask someone to do some work, you should use a word please before asking something. Also, thank them after the work is done. Is what is the secret? This is what is working so well for me. Always remember, please and thank you. Now that you know my secret, you can also try it out. This is how I make others do my work and make them happy. And also, I am successful. So he said, please remember two words in your life, which will help you a lot. And what are those two words? Please and thank you. So he also advises all of us to do the same thing. Will you all follow the king's secret in your life? Yes, all throughout our life, we should apply these two words, magical words. And what are those? Please and thank you. Thank you. Difficult words, rude, harsh, or impolite. Scream to shout loudly. Curious, eager to know or learn something. Try this. Is it good to be rude towards others? Second, write your opinion about the king's changed behavior. <laughs> 